everybody. It's good to be back. I missed you. Happy New Year 2023. Can you believe it? I saw GT and some resolutions going on up here. Heather Potter. Hello, Heather. Hello, Donna. We have Super Dead. Hey, by the way, thanks for stopping by the other day. OSD came by the studio live here. I was trying to sneak out with a customer and he just hit me right there. It's always good to see you. You always are welcome, by the way, uh, for anybody local or not even local. If you want to stop by the studio anytime, take a chance here. We are open during regular business hours and we are, boy, I tell you, having a heck of a show tonight. We got so much. We're going to probably run a little over, but I'm going to give a lot of stuff away and uh, it's just going to be a great show. It's Surf and Turf. If you were to have a dinner tonight and go out to dinner, excuse me, uh, what would you order on a menu? Surf and Turf. What is it? Well, it's a good steak and a lobster tail. And we're going to do both. Uh, we're going to top that steak with a sauce bearnaise. I'm going to show you how to make a sauce bearnaise. It is from or derived from the hollandaise sauce, which is a mother sauce. But we're going to make a hollandaise, uh, then we'll make the bearnaise, top it with a beautiful, or uh, put it on top of a beautiful flame and yon medallion, along with a lobster tail sitting here with a presentation that, uh, to die for. You put this in front of somebody uh, whom you uh, have interest in or want to have interest in or whatever, if you're watching some of our shorts. Yeah, I know. These, these people, it's not me, but uh, I've got another short coming out right after the show today. It's another steamy one, part two of this erotica stuff that YouTube wants us to uh, partake in. They love what we're doing. They just want to know a little bit more of a background or a story. And so uh, I'm trying to incorporate that personally somewhat into a food show. Uh, the food show is doing well and the numbers are good, but uh, I believe they're trying to hint us and so we're going to take it seriously. So we started the uh, erotica one. Well, I think it was Wednesday. We put out the, um, uh, the lobster one, you know, the aphrodisiac. Yeah, whatever. Uh, we, we forgot to finish it off with uh, she spent the night and we had eggs Benedict for breakfast. That's right. So you don't want to miss that. It's right after the show, probably about five o'clock uh, mountain time. We're going to release that one. It's another short, but it's a part two of the erotica series. And I may keep this up. I don't know. It's really not me per se, but uh, it's what YouTube is wanting uh, from us uh, to get to the next level. Um, you know, so I don't know. This whole thing is kind of bothering me somewhat, but uh, it's you that I care about more than anything and what you think and not what YouTube thinks, because uh, I could do these lives and, and be per perfectly happy the rest my life um, but there is one little piece of uh, pie left in my life that I have not accomplished I've been an airline pilot I've done a lot of things um, my pilot's license is probably my biggest thing that was that was cool when you do a solo airplane uh, in your life uh, that's pretty cool it doesn't get much better than that when you take off and you look to your right and there's no instructor there uh, or FAA um, sign off uh, guy it's just you and it's like wow you know I'm, I'm, I've got this, this my aircraft that's pretty cool but the one thing I have left to accomplish is uh, a successful YouTube channel and uh, I've been uh, uh, happily married I mean, all, all those things that go along in life is, is pretty good successful business yada 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 but the YouTube thing it's really driving me crazy I'm going into year two I probably have spent well over a hundred thousand uh, dollars in, in getting this off the ground it's like a business that's the way I look at it but uh, it's a slow business. But anyways, enough about me. We have uh, a beautiful tumbler here. Look at this tumbler. This tumbler was made by Shanna, Shanna Bodana's husband or fiance. You know how that seven year thing goes or 20 year thing, whatever it is here uh, in New Mexico. Uh, Sean, uh, known as, uh, not Riverboat Sean, but uh, uh, here I am. I forgot already, Shanna. By the way, Shanna, it's your birthday today. Happy birthday. Duke City, Duke City Sean. Hello, Duke City Sean. Uh, he made these. He's actually uh, in the tumbler business, uh, and so they're quite nice. I ordered quite a few, but I'm going to give them away. You can sip on them. You can drink out of them. There's a straw. There's a lot of things that you can do with these. I've got uh, quite a few of these I'm going to give away today. So if you'd like one of these, you're in the spin. How did you get in the spin? Well, you commented on these shorts. Yeah. For every time that you make a comment in a short, one time per, that is, your name gets put into the spinner. And back behind here is a spinner with, I don't know, it's got at least probably 500 red tickets in there. If you commented on every short since the last time we saw you, you're in there seven times. So the chances of winning today are very good. What am I going to give away? Well, on the board, the spin board, we have Happy New Year. That's going to be worth some money. I can guarantee you that. We're still trying to give a car away. Uh, lunch with Steve. Uh, I know I've got one I still have to do, and uh, I'm, I'm going to get to that, David Leon. I promise you that. I, I know... Um, you came by the studio the other day too, by the way, or a couple weeks ago. But anyways, uh, Happy New Year is going to be worth some money. So we're just going to have a lot of fun. We're going to make surf and turf. Uh, anybody wants to stop by the, the uh, dealership afterwards, this is lobster and filet mignon, Bernays sauce. It's going to be very tasty. 
Uh, let's give some of these stuff away. We got some tumblers. These tumblers are very nice, uh, and I will ship these out. They come in a nice box. I'll wrap them up. I'll ship them out. Let's go and get some names here. We're just going to start spinning here and just spin right away, right away, right away. All right. So, whoa, get back here. So, because uh, I'm in that giving. Oh, my God. Shanna, you are so right. Happy birthday, Shanna. All right. I'm just going to grab a handful of names, and we're going to start by giving away some spinners and some other stuff. We're just going to have a good time, and we're going to get into uh, some, uh, some other stuff. I'm going to show you how to uh, prepare a lobster for the oven. Now, uh, when you fish a lobster out of a live tank, such as this one here, we did that on one of our shorts. I hate boiled lobster. I don't know about you, but I don't know what the, the hoorah is about a boiled lobster. But I don't know, be, besides the, the, the broiled one, boiled or broiled, broiled all day long. I'm going to show you today a broiled lobster. We're going to split it down the half. It's an Australian tail. It's not a Maine lobster. And again, nothing against the Maine people, but I don't, I don't know. I don't get what that aura of the, the euphra is for a Maine lobster. You know, boiled in water or steamed, however you want to do it, and dipped in butter or lemon. Okay, but when you when you self-baste a, a lobster tail with the seasonings that we're going to put in into this and onto this and into the oven and then torch it. Yeah, baby, we're going to torch the bad boy when it comes out of the oven uh, and dip that into some. Oh, my God, it's so much better. I think. So we're going to do that and uh, the, the filet tails, as I mentioned. So uh, let's give some stuff away here. Some tails, some t exploring health is going to, hey, good job. That's our good friends. You guys have been great too. You've been, that family and uh, you guys together have been around for a long time and we sure appreciate your presence here every week on this show. All right, so you've got a tumbler coming. God, we've got two exploring health. Man, you guys got, that's in, remember I said you could be in here seven times? Well, there's two out of two. Can you believe that? Two out of two already. Exploring health. You've got two uh, tumblers. Already, so you're gonna give some tumblers away. And that's uh, Marcy Acosta. There you go, Marcy. There's another one. That's uh, Tucum Carry Marcy, uh, they called her, I believe. And uh, she won a tumbler. Another tumbler is gonna go to Joe Cara. By the way, Joe, I hope your arms are healing up. Uh, I understand you had a little accident with some wings and you guys didn't get along too well. So I hope you're recovering on that side. This is crazy. You know, are you mixing these up, uh, Shanna? Joe Cor again. That's kind of crazy. You know what? I'm going to put these two back because I've got a feeling we got a royal flush going here. Something's weird here. We need to mix these up big time. And I'm just going to sit there and just spin these around like this. So you know I am spinning these around. But yeah, two for two. That's kind of weird. How often is that going to happen? I don't know. But that is now mixed up pretty well. That, I promise you, will not happen again. So we got four tumblers going out to two people. Not a very good start. All right. So the lobster tail. We have started here with, I'm going to pick this up on camera here. This is an Australian tail. What you want to do is you want to get these. These come frozen. Okay, you got to deal with that, but that's okay. I don't think that it really matters that much between fresh and frozen when it comes to lobster and how we're going to prepare it. But you would take the tail and you would spread it out and crack it. Crack. Okay, that basically spreads the tail out. The, that will keep the tail intact when uh, she or he goes into the, uh, the broiler. Now, uh, is there a difference between a he and she lobster? Not really. Now, you know the, uh, the claws on the, on the main lobster are kind of cool. You got that big claw, you know that big claw, and you got the little claw. That big claw is uh, for obvious, you know, God is so amazing how he created everything to have everything in balance and check. Uh, what, what that lobster can do with that big claw, that clapper claw, and the little claw. Basically, that's the fork, and this is the killer. This goes after it and, and can literally, you know, take a Coke bottle off the top. Split the tail. You take your, your regular French knife and you would pierce right in the very bottom there, at the very back of the tail, and you would just literally let your knife roll. Let your knife roll. I said, let your knife roll. Come on, baby. There we go. Just, and just let your knife roll. You don't need scissors. Some people say, hey, we need scissors. You don't need scissors. You don't need scissors. You just need a good, sharp, angled knife, and away you go. Now, there you go. That has been split down the center. You would just peel that back, and very carefully, we're not using gloves today because of a couple reasons. One, for the lobster, and that meat's gonna come out. This is basically what you'd call a 12 ounce tail. You take it out like that. Does that look gross? Kind of, sort of. Twist it at the bottom there, and then put that literally on your baking pan removing everything. Now we're going to take, split that tail, and there's a vein just like there is in a shrimp. You want to pull that thing out. There she is, and oh, this is beautiful. There you have it. Now, we are preparing now this lobster for the broiler. Look at that. Isn't that not gorgeous? Now, you would literally put a little bit of butter on top of that. Ooh, nice. 
And that is what we call drawn butter, separated butter from its fat and milk content. So it's a nice pure uh, butter. Uh, you want to make sure that that uh, paprika, that is mainly just for color. It's really, paprika has very little flavor, in my opinion. And some fresh herbs are going to go like that. Now, now, that is now dressed and ready for. You would put perhaps a little bit of spray water on that and put it in at about 350. You don't have to cover it, wrap it up with anything. Just put it right under the broiler. It's going to come out and it's going to look like this. This is about a lobster that has uh, basically done the same tour. But this lobster here has about 95% of the way of cooking. In other words, it's about 95% of the way cooked. A little butter uh, baste it and then, of course, we will finish that off with what? With what? Yes, the torch. And the torch is gonna be something like this. And just a little ensemble. Oh my God. Now the reason for the torch, we're gonna put a little glaze on the top of the skin of that, that lobster. And what that, what that is gonna do, when you dip that into the butter and that glaze, as opposed to the boil where you have nothing but just you know, nothing. There's nothing. This is like a charred steak. The difference between a charred steak and maybe something that's been just laid on a flat iron grill with no, uh, no char whatsoever. So you put just a little bit of char on that bad boy. Oh my God. And see that? Oh, loved ones, I'm telling you, when you put that into some butter, cut that into lemon, oh, it's going to be awesome. Now, what accompanies the surf and turf? Obviously, we're missing the, the, um, the turf part of it, or the surf part of it. Turf? Surf? I don't know why they call that turf. I guess it's because of dirt, right? Something like that. We are literally lighting it up. I smell the gas burning. We're going to now put our uh, our, eyelash, our our eyebrows in uh, jeopardy. Poof! Did you see that? I don't know if I have anything left there. All right. Yeah, you even felt it. It blew the dog back too. See, the JB went. <laughs> I'm back about three feet. All right, so these are medallions of filet mignon, uh, basically done with our seasoning, which is our Steve Henry Show seasoning. A little bit of those, and we're just gonna pan sear those up a little bit. Uh, these are gonna be uh, laid onto the right-hand side of that. And so when I show you this plate, and we make the Bernays sauce and put that full ensemble together, it's gonna be awesome. But while we're doing that, let's spin. Uh, let's pull some names out. Uh, what are we gonna spin for? Well, we'll go to the spin board this time uh, and see what we got. So we got Happy New Year on there. That is worth a hundred bucks. And that, I, I hope a lot of people are gonna get that tonight because I'm gonna give away that. Laura Jones, out of, that's the Phoenix, Arizona, or Mesa, as we know. Laura, we're gonna spin around. Here goes Laura Jones, where she stops, nobody knows. And we're gonna do a hundred dollars for Laura Jones, ladies and gentlemen. Yay, Laura. Good job. All right. Give it away. Give it away. More tumblers to give away, too. Oh, that two for two was kind of weird, wasn't it? That was very strange. All right. Now, to uh, keep things moving here, we're just li literally going to take our filet, and these are four medallions. Uh, now, typically, you'd probably do about two, but I'm, you know, I'm doing this in a large fashion here. These are going to be four medallions of filet mignon that are going to be placed onto the platter. We'll just move that off to the side. Did our camera fall? Okay. So I'm gonna move this out of the side here and we're going to now make what we call a sauce bernaise. By the way, this is 2023 if you haven't noticed. Happy New Year. New Year's resolutions, does anybody have one? Does anybody believe in those things? Uh, I don't know if I do or not. Uh, I do know we have champagne, that's barefoot Chardonnay, uh, turned into a bubbly, a very good uh, champagne. Okay, so we take a hollandaise sauce. Now, I've already made the hollandaise sauce. If you've uh, watched this show for a while, then you know basically we've done Eggs Benedict a few times. Uh, basically, what you're gonna do is separate out some yolks, you're going to put a little lemon, and you're gonna put some water in a pan or pot, bowl, if you will, such as this. Now. I'm a daredevil. I will take this and put this on direct flame. I don't need a double boiler. I don't need a blender. I don't need the North Swiss package or any of that. Just about six egg yolks, okay? A pound of butter uh, and about one lemon, the squeeze and juice of one lemon, and perhaps about two ounces of water. So you put your egg yolks in there and your water and you just start whisking and you whisk and whisk. What'll happen is your egg yolks will bleach out a little white. You'll get that steam coming up, that aroma that, hey, wow, some eggs are cooking here. You don't want to cook your eggs, but you want to get them to the right point where they're just nice and fluffy and it's a smooth texture. Then you would add your separated butter or clarified butter as it's known. That's where your milk and your, all your solids removed from the butter. Melt that on a very low heat so you've got a good clarification uh, of the butter. And there you have a holiday sauce. Uh, season it up with a little lemon. You could put uh, paprika, you could put cayenne pepper. Uh, for the sake of Bernays, I left it plain. Now what is Bernays? Well, Bernays is nothing more than a, a herb such as tarragon. You would take the tarragon leaves, uh, I use the dry leaves, and you'd put them in your 
your mortar and pestle and you'd move it around like that and you'd get into a, almost a powder type format and you'd put some red vinegar, why, uh, red vinegar into a, uh, the red wine vinegar, into a little saucepan or a little tiny skillet and you would put your uh, tarragon and uh, some shallots, chop up a couple shallots uh, or perhaps a, a teaspoon of shallot and you put it into a skillet and you reduce that down to like a sawdust, okay? So you get a sawdust. So nothing more than a Bernays sauce is nothing more than a hollandaise sauce, one of the five mother sauces, and your Baronet sauce. Now your Baronet looks like this. It looks like a sawdust. Okay, that is the reduction of the tarragon leaves that have been milled with your red wine vinegar and some shallot. Okay, and it's reduced down to not to a dry point to where it's burning, but it's a, it's a moist sawdust. And so you would just literally put the moist sawdust uh, composition into your hollandaise sauce, and you would incorporate that just like so. And sauce Baronet's you're gonna find it in a fancy hotel or a fancy fine dining type of restaurant. I, I don't know where else you would find sauce Bernays. Uh, but what it is, again, when you take the hollandaise sauce and the, the flavor of the tarragon and the vinegar and the shallot reduction, and you, and you combine it into a, uh, a hollandaise sauce, and then you place it over your, your meat, such so like so, the combination is to die for. And what I mean to die for, the flavor, I don't know, it's some form of a chemistry uh, reaction, but the meat, the red meat and that sauce, the breakdown of the butters and the fats and the, and the flavors of the lemon and everything, it's just incredible. This, loved ones, is literally what you would look for in the finest restaurant uh, money can probably serve you. But you can do it in your own home. Uh, there's about a $30 lobster and about a $10 filet. So for less than $50, and this would be a hundred, you went to a hotel, this would be a hundred dollar plate somewhere uh, on a night like tonight, New Year's Eve. Surf and turf. That is absolutely gorgeous. The one thing that I did leave out that I wanted to point to your direction is I also put rind or zest on my, on my lobster. So before she goes into the oven, we would put a little bit of lemon zest, a little lime zest. This is lime here, obviously. A little lime zest a little orange zest and a little lemon zest. And, and the reason for that is, again, you're looking for that flavor. And I'm gonna show you this one just before it goes into the oven, what it would look like. And it's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. And the flavors that, that protrude through here are incredible. And I wanna show you this, because this, this is amazing. This, this lobster right here, this is pre-oven, okay? And we'll put a little bit more butter on that just to, just to show you how pretty that is, really. This is a like a rainbow effect of colors. That is what you would place into your oven uh, or your broiler. And again, when that all cooks, pan sears together like that, you literally are gonna have what you have here on the plate with a little sar change of the, of, the, of the torch. The most amazing tasting lobster you'll ever put to your lips, I, I promise you that. As opposed to reaching into your, your tank, your freshwater tank or saltwater tank and, and pulling out a live lobster and steaming it. Now I know it's pretty, it looks good, and, and I, but I don't know. Somebody tell me, maybe I'm missing something. I, I think it's highly overrated when you can get an Australian tail like this and the sweet flavor and the consistency, the other thing too is the consistency of that lobster is, is majorly, it's, it's intact and it's, it's extremely good. All right. We are gonna give away some more tumblers. We're gonna give away some more stuff. That is Surf and Turf, loved ones. And again, I want you to be able to make it uh, there. I already pulled some more out. We got a ton of names here too, by the way. So Laura Jones was our last one. We're gonna go and do some spinning here. I'm just not one hit the floor. I know how you feel about that floor thing. All right, Dell Maverick, ladies and gentlemen. Dell's a great guy. Uh, married to Ophelia. They, they literally, these guys have it going on. They literally have a, like a farm, if you will, uh, in the uh, city limits of Albuquerque, which is crazy. They raise everything. Here we go, Dell. Spin around. What do you got for me, Dell. Come on, Dell. Something big. Uh, stop it right there. Stop. 100 bucks, Dell. Congratulations. Yeah, baby. That's $100 for Dell Maverick. All right, here we go. We're going to give away. Let's, uh, I got some more tumblers to give away. And by the way, again, these tumblers are awesome. These are, I don't know how, what the size of these things are. You can literally put a 40 ounce beer in there and have, have a good time, I think. But, anyways, it's got the. Uh, Oh, oh, Sean is going to, what, how many? 30. 30 ounce. Oh, it's a 30 ounce helmet. And Sean did such a great job. That is our logo. So this is the, uh, the, the new Steve Henry show. And of course, it's got the live every Saturday at 4 o'clock uh, for the time being. Uh, that is on Mountain Time. By the way, the shorts, I mentioned that short. Please watch that short. 
comment on short, you go to the new stevehenryshow.com to register. That's how we know who you are. So we can send all this stuff that we're gonna give away today. It's gotta go somewhere. Where? Well, we'll send it to you. Uh, a lot of you have been around for a long time and you're already in our archive, but uh, the new people, you gotta go to the new stevehenryshow.com, register uh, the new short. By the way, when you see the subscribe here and uh, register now, yeah, that is for the new people. Um, and we're giving away a lot of things to try to build that up. We get, oh, I don't know, between 2,000 and 8,000 views per short video when they release. Uh, and we hope to captivate some of that audience back to us, which we do. Uh, and again, YouTube will be paying us, which pays you because again, this is your show. Starting in February, we will be compensated for every short that we do. Right now, it's just a, a test trial run to see how things go. But I can assure you when we get to about a 10,000 viewpoint, which is not too far away in my opinion, hopefully, uh, we will start to earn some money. And when we do, you know what that means. We might not be doing tumblers in, in resin, we'll be doing them gold plated or something like that. All right, Lisa Salvador. You know, I was looking at you the other day, I was reading, reading one of your comments. Uh, and, and what I like about you is it's not Lisa L.I. S-A, it's L-E-S-A, and it's Lisa. And it's kind of cool, because uh, I was thinking, you know what, you haven't won anything in quite a while. Let's, uh, you're gonna get a Tumblr, Lisa, so I gotta keep these separate here. And remember, uh, you know, I don't remember nothing, but anyways, I'll go back and I'll watch. Lisa, you have won yourself a Tumblr. Another Tumblr victim is going to be Del Maverick again, my God, Del Maverick. See, the, you see the, the beauty of being in here seven times? You win twice, maybe three times. All right, Del Maverick. <laughs> And there's been three people have won twice today. That's just the way it is. I mean, it's a, it's a small crowd of about 80 to 110 people and seven times is, you know, that, those are the odds. Jay, we don't know who Jay is. J-A-Y, or is that Joy? It could be Joy or it could be Jay, Shanna, Shanna, Bodana, I do not know. But Jay or Joy, we are going to do a spin. Let's do a spin. It's Jay. Jay, I don't know who Jay is, but that Jay could be a first timer. Here comes the spin, Jay. I want to give away a happy new year here. Oh, stop. I did, I gave a Happy New Year away to Jay. Good job, Jay, congratulations, Jay. You have got yourself a Happy New Year's. What am I going to tell you? I thought it was 100 bucks, I'm just jacked that up. It's not gonna be 100 bucks, let me something better than that, okay? I just want you to know that. Laura Jones again, my God, Laura Jones. Uh, you want 100 bucks, I'm gonna give you a tumbler, Laura. So you got 100 bucks, you can put 100 bucks worth of uh, your favorite adult beverage in your new Tumblr, Laura Jones. Congratulations, Laura Jones, by the way. Laura, uh, if you don't know Laura, Laura is a great gal. I uh, won't divulge her age, but she doesn't look her age, that's for sure. She was very kind to my mother back in one of those days at the assisted living facility. I think I told you that story many times, but uh, it's quite an interesting story. Let's pull some more names out. Uh, I'm just going to pull more names. There's so many people in here. Maybe if I went to the bottom of the depths of this thing. All right, we're just going to do some spinning here. I just want to give some spins away. So stay tuned. Don't go away. We've got an okay crowd for the holiday that it is. So Surf and Turf, did you get a good look at that plate? That is a just a, a beautiful plate. You can do the tomato rose, the lemon crowns, the drawn butter, and that, loved ones, you could put a starch, asparagus, baked potato, whatever you want on there, but my God, is that not an amazing looking entree? I think that is just absolutely awesome. That is how I would serve surf and turf. If I had a restaurant, uh, that would be uh, surf and turf for two people, uh, probably 110 bucks, or for $55, my God, you'd have a great time. All right, let's keep going. Ophelia, man, we're gonna keep that in the family. Ophelia, let's spin Ophelia. Come on, Ophelia, let's go, let's go, Ophelia. What is Ophelia in today gonna win? Ooh, stop it at 150 bucks. You're in that dark hole. I hate that dark hole. That's a dark hole. Let's do it again. Ophelia. I'm gonna try to spin that around to where you get what I think I want to give you, and that's the Happy New Year. Come on, stop, 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 stop. Yes! Happy New Year, Ophelia, and you're gonna like that one. Ophelia, Happy New Year. <clears throat> oh, hey, very good. <clears throat> you stopped and saw me about three weeks ago, two weeks ago. Super Dud, who is uh, engaged to GT Rivers, if you're both watching today, which I, uh, you must be, because Super Dud is here. By the way, you don't have to be present to win. Uh, if you do comment on all these things, and God forbid something happens on a Saturday Live, the Saturday Live is just, you know, we just have fun. It, it's, the, the shorts are really where we're penetrating our, uh, our impulse right now. Uh, but uh, the live show, I, I, I do it for you, and uh, just so we can interact and get to know each other a little better. Super Dud, I don't, can you explain to me, Super Dud, what 6470 means? I've watched that for, what now, a year or a little more than a year. Super Dud, I get that, but uh, the uh, 6470 throws me off. I have no idea what that means. So, if you would be kind enough, I'll be kind enough to spin you a big one here. Let's go, Super Dud! Down the road we go. Come on, where she stops. 
Come on, give Super Dud something big here, everybody. Let's go, let's go, let's go, Super Dud. Yes, yeah, stop, 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 stop. Happy New Year, Super Dud. Yeah, that's going to be the good one. All right, we're going to keep going here. I got two more uh, tumblers. Got to give another tumbler away. Who's this? Another tumbler, another tumbler, another tumbler. Here is this. Oh, my God, I can't do that again. I can't. She's already won one. She's already won one. You can't win two tumblers. You can't. Can you? Yeah. Three tumblers. My God. Whoa. That is crazy. I'm going to have to do that. You're saying to shake it again. Shake it? All right, I'll, I'll shake it again. Let me get one more away here. Oh, Emilio Garibay. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. That's up there in Moses Lake, Washington. You got yourself a tumbler. All right, they say shake it again. All right, let me just shake this bad boy. I'm just literally, how about this? That good? You guys like that? Yeah? I'm gonna shake, 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 shake. I wanna give Donna Grote something. She's been here for the longest time. That thing's not spinning around either way. By the way, I can't see nothing here. It's just stop it. All right, that's gotta be good. That has to be good. All right, now let's reach in here. Let's just continue to pull some names. It's New Year's. I don't know what you guys are doing. What am I doing for New Year's Eve? Well, as you know, I had sold the big house and uh, stay there. Uh, I have sold a big house and moved into a 50 foot uh, RV. Uh, way out in the middle of nowhere, but I like it because it's kind of secluded. I mean, we got the coyotes and we got all kinds of things out there. Um, it's kind of neat. So uh, I'm going to go home and just chill and get ready for the next short. And the, that's all I live for, basically, is, uh, and of course, the car lot. Elizabeth Gerardo, lovely. Oh my God. We go back. We have a history. Uh, not that kind. Come on. You, uh, those erotica shorts in me. I don't know. By the way, we shot. How many shorts do we shoot today, George? Like five? It's, it, I am. My mind is just definitely not in it. This uh, bottle of champagne. You see what's left in that thing? Mm, yeah, you get the idea. Anyways, uh, Elizabeth, you and I, gosh, I sold you a car. You worked at the Circle K next to the old 5K when I had 5K back in, what, 1999, maybe it was? That's a long time ago, girl. A long time ago. Four kids later. Uh, and you've done a great job. You're, you're a great mom. Um, man, I tell you. So, Elizabeth Gerardo, let's spin for you, honey. Yeah, let's go ahead and give you a good spin. Happy New Year, Elizabeth. Happy New Year, Elizabeth. Give me something good. Give me that Happy New Year for Elizabeth. Come on, Elizabeth. Come on, come on, come on. God, you're in the dead hole. Ah, oh, these dead holes. I hate these dead holes. All right, one more time. Elizabeth, here we go. Here we go, Elizabeth. Maybe a car. Uh, time for a car for you. No, stop, stop. 100 bucks, 100 bucks. Happy New Year, Elizabeth. Good job. All right, I got one more tumbler, two more tumblers to give away. I got to give some, some of these tumblers. Hey, Dave G, by the way, Monique and Dave G are here today. Those are a, a good, Dave, Dave's a good guy. Dave, uh, he's a, now talk about a guy who's covered his bases. Airline pilot, uh, pharmacist. I mean, he's, he's been a lot of things too. Just Dave G. Dave G, you got yourself a tumbler, Dave. All right, we got time for one more. I just love this uh, surf and turf. Uh, God, Lisa Salvador. What did you win? You won some money before. I'm going to give you a tumbler, I think. Yes, I'm going to give you a tumbler. Lisa, you've won twice too. For all of you that win twice, uh, I want to put a little, I want to tickle your ear for a second. Okay, so listen up real, real carefully. For everybody that's in here like seven times, uh, when the shorts start really producing, I mean really producing, I may do one a day, okay? All right, I just want, to think, I want you to think about this. I'm going to try to do one a day. That's like five a week, okay, on, on a regular business week. So that's five a week. And I'll do some times two, times threes in there. But your name could end up being in there like eight or nine or ten times a week. But if you comment on every short that we produce. And if we start making some money, do you get my drift here? Do you follow where I'm going with this? I want to give it all back. That's what my whole intentions of this show is, is to give all the proceeds back to you. That's what this is all about. So that's where we're going with this. You understand what I'm saying? 10 times, maybe eight times, your chances, as you saw today, this, and this is both my mind, this is seven times right now, okay? And this is probably what a normal week would look like. The only difference is we're about, you know, probably $1,000 short, maybe $2,000 short. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, $1,000 or $2,000 a week. Think about that. Yeah, and uh, uh, I just want to give the money away and, and whatever else I can come up and think about. So, all right, one more. We got, to, hey, Lena G. Let's give Lena G. She's, I, I love you, Lena. Lena's been with us, gosh, almost since day one. Uh, came over from the Taylor Skeens program. I remember Taylor Skeens. I, I ran into her the other day. Or I ran into one of her, uh, her productions. Uh, if you haven't seen her lately, she's really changed quite a bit, actually. But Lena G, um, uh, what do you want, Lena? Do you want $1,000 or do you want a, you want a tumbler? you want a torch? Lena, tell me. Uh, you're in the comment section. I want to hear. 
Uh, by the way, how many of you want, got torches? I, I think I sent out about 15 of those gift cards. I hope some of you have gone out and gotten uh, a torch because that will enhance, uh, as, you, as you've seen on the show, uh, some of the fun in cooking. And by the way, cooking is, is, a, is, a, is a wonderful thing. Lena, you got time to say something? I need you, Lena. Lena, come on board before I say goodbye to everybody. We've got about 15 seconds. Uh, if not, I'm going to surprise you. I think I know what you need, but uh, that I will cover for you. Loved ones, it has been a great time visiting with you. We will be back next Saturday. We are also going to have about three shorts at least in between that time period, so get in there and comment. We are going to release one right after this broadcast at about 5 o'clock. Uh, it is entitled uh, The Morning After uh, or something about that, The Eggs Benedict, The Erotica uh, that we're doing here, part two, part two. Uh, I need you to comment and I need you to share it. The more you share that bad boy, uh, it helps too. So do you guys get kind of where this is going, this snowball of YouTube channel at the new Steve Henry Show? Yeah, it's going back to you times two, sometimes maybe times three. I don't care. It's all for you. I want you to have a happy, happy new year. Know that you're loved. I know it's tough out there. Uh, I want to say hi to Kelly. I want to say, my, my screen literally stopped. Heather Potter is here, but uh, I know all of you and I'll see you in the comments tomorrow when I crack my coffee up and, and boot up with my dogs and, and, and just go through the comments. But I love your comments. Keep them coming. We are a community of love amongst one another and I'm so happy to be a part of that. It is you and I love you. I thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next week on the new Steve Henry Show. Don't forget to watch those live shorties. All right. Can I get some champagne, please? Oh my God, I wish. Happy New Year!